time. Okay. The enactment of land laws that are essential to consolidate the gains envisaged in the land policy paper and the chapter 5 of the constitution which deals with the issues of land was welcomed with a lot of enthusiasm but with the current ongoings that would be deliberate delays in land reforms a lot of reservations have surfaced from most Kenyans. Everybody who had their transactions queuing for processing within the land offices even in some of the local authorities, cannot push them because of that moratorium until that commission is in place, because that was the condition the cabinet placed on uh, the, 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 the lifting of that moratorium. The delay in appointing the commissioners to the National Lands Commission, for instance, is in the bad test, and it further promises to translate into other ripple effects if left unattended. Uh, if you look at the Constitution and the and the National Land Commission uh, Act uh, is also charged with the business of developing um, legislation uh, which will help us to resolve historical land injustice. By the same token you can then uh, appreciate that it would be working now in conjunction with the IEBC. Now in the absence of this uh, platform, the National Land Commission, then we are leaving the country uh, open to, again, manipulation by politicians come the 2013 general elections. The LDGI chair has a deep conviction that this delay would enable selfish gainers in the land sector satisfy their interior motives. Always at the eve of a general election, the routine has been, the cycle has been, there is a lot of allocation of public land. Uh, both in the Ministry of Land's offices and in local authorities, now, the truth is that even though there is that moratorium, given the fact that they all know that there will be a National Land Commission, which takes quite a lot of the powers that they used to move there before, so it is quite correct to have the fear that this window allows officers and scrupulous officers in some of these offices to certainly exploit the gap and move uh, deals and what they do is basically just uh, backdate. He, however, calls on Kenyans to remain patient but vigilant. I think Kenyans have reasons to be apprehensive, but I don't also to make this observation that that laws by themselves cannot cannot move themselves. Laws require institutions. Laws require uh, regulations. Laws require procedures. The LDGI chair has also challenged Kenyans to give their contributions on the regulations needed to support the implementation of the new Land Act, the Land Registration Act and the Community Bill. There is a task force that is trying to develop regulations to operate the Land Act and the Land Registration Act. It is in position, it has issued public notices asking people to provide input. Giving his institutions and other like-minded organizations commitment in playing their oversight role in the land reform agenda, an event expected to preach peace in relation to land issues. The event will commence on Tuesday the 4th of December. Jojo Kachi, GBS News.